welcome to my channel! So for today's video, I'm going to show to you my daily exercise routine. But before we start, kindly subscribe to my channel first down below to have a brighter, better now, let's start! Exercise is great for the human body and it has a lot of benefits. It is important for physically fit and healthy body. It provides oxygen and nutrients to our entire body and it also helps my warm up march keep your knees up and move your opposite arm with the opposite knee for progress lift your opposite arm above your head while lifting up butt kicks it may help increase the speed of hamstring construction which can help you run faster and can be used as a dynamic stretch for your quads. It's quad. It actually strengthens your knees. To do this, your feet should be on shoulder wide apart and toes should facing outward. Shoulder rolls. The purpose of this exercise is to decrease tightness in knee and shoulders. Just roll your shoulder back simultaneously. Now, let's proceed to side tops. Doing this regularly will help you strengthen your core and gain more stability in your trunk at the same time. Lastly, we will proceed to knee lifts. Knee lifts helps straighten the abdominal muscles.
sideways neck stretch. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Tighten your belly and pull your shoulders back. With your head slightly forward, slowly tilt your air toward the shoulder on the same side until you feel a stretch. Side lunge stretch. Keep your upper body straight and legs apart. Then shift your breath in a slow lunge to the side over a bent knee. You should feel a stretch along the inner thigh of the opposite leg, which should be straight as you push your rest to the bent knee side. Now, let's proceed to the next stretching exercise. Chest and shoulder stretch. Kindly don't mind my left shoulder back because it's my right mind. Interlace your fingers with bent elbows and put your hands behind your head. Move your elbows gently backward and squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can move your hands to the top of your head or a few inches above your head to affect different parts of your shoulders and chest. Glute bridge. This one stretches your hip flexors. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet on the floor about hip width apart. Gently tighten your stomach muscle to help flatten your back and prevent overstretching. Then tighten your butt muscles as you push your hips up forward the ceiling. Hold for a few seconds and repeat. Lying knee to chest stretch. This one reaches your quads hip flexors, lower back, and hamstrings. Lie on your back and gently pull one knee toward your chest until you feel a stretch in your lower back. Leave the other leg bent if you have a low back pain. Otherwise, you choose what's more comfortable. If straight, you can add to the stretch by pushing the back of your knee toward the floor. Hold it for about 30 seconds, and then switch legs. Now, let's proceed to our cool down exercises. First, seated single leg hamstring stretch. Hamstring tightness is one of the leading contributors to back pain, especially in the lower back. This stretch also aids in hamstring flexibility. You should include this move every time you stretch. Even if you don't currently have back pain, it will help prevent issues down the road. Second, Standing quad stretch. The primary function of the quads, that big, meaty muscles in front of your thighs, is to help control knee motion. So keeping the muscles lost and latent is key to avoid injuries. This is especially true for runners, who can experience pain if there is an uneven pulling on the kneecap due to quad tightness. Third, we have lunging calf stretch. People often forget about the calves when calling down. And the best part about this stretch is that it works your calves, hip flexors, glutes, and hamstrings. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.